Think, feel.
Bye. Sorry, Senpai. Senpai.
Senpai, it's me, Risei. Did you know the fireworks festival is today? You know, I don't have any plans. born playboy sometimes. But I bet we'll run into the others at the festival. Yosuke-senpai would never pass up something like this. It kind of sucks, but maybe we should get together with everyone this time. Well, I'll see you tonight, senpai. Big bro, are you there? I'm gonna play at Monachan's house. I'll buy some trash bags on the way back. Dad said we'll be going to the fireworks show once he comes home. It's at night, so I have to go with Dad, but he said he'll try and come home for it. Go with Dad, so we'll see you there. Ooh, the crowd's pretty thin here. The riverbanks were packed. I'm surprised you found a quiet spot like this. Oh no, I knew about it. I pass by the mountainside a lot. Customers ask me about it too. I wonder if Nanako-chan will make it. I called and told her where we'd be before I left. Hey, where's Teddy? Not only was he hitting on girls non-stop, he accidentally put the moves on Hanako and she dragged him away. He ducked into his bear skin right away and acted like a bear, but he still got dragged off without a word. Whoa! Can we just leave him like that? Sure we can. His karma caught up to him. Aren't you being a little cold to Teddy today, Yosuke-senpai? When I think back to what he did this morning, no, I really don't. Truth be told, I wish I could send two or three more Hanukos at him. Dude, that would kill him. What happened anyway? I don't even want to remember it. He dug up some private stuff from my room and brought it to the Hanamura family breakfast. He was all like, Yosuke, what's this magazine about? Can you imagine the humiliation I went through because of him? It's your fault for having that stuff. It's not like I ever thought anyone would wave it around in front of my parents. Is this really what you want to be talking about with girls around? Huh? Is he not talking about his secret savings? Secret savings for a guy. Right. Let's just leave him be. Teddy? What a tragedy. My lovely fur is completely ruined. That's... Okay, that's worse than I was expecting. Anyway, people are going to stare at you like that. Hurry and take it off. But I'm like a newborn child inside. Just like your magazine from this morning, Yosuke. Quit reopening this morning's wounds! There they are! Big bro! Hey, Nanako-chan! Looks like Dojima-san made it in time! Yeah, Dad came home early! <laughs> I made it! Sorry if I made you nervous. I didn't quite finish my paperwork, but I figured a dachi could handle the rest. Hey there, little lady. Wanna launch some fireworks of love with me? How do you do that? Well... Cut it out, Teddy! Do you want Dojima-san to haul you in? Things are heating up down there. Does that mean it'll be starting soon? Really? Pretty. Wow. Have 
No, don't listen to him. Stop messing with her, Teddy. Sometimes you're unbearable. Huh? Was that supposed to be a joke? <laughs> oh, looks like this one's a doozy. Ooh, you're right. <laughs> Beautiful. Teddy, Kaya. That concludes our program for the Summer Fireworks Festival. Thank you for coming, and all of us here in Inaba hope to see you again next year as well. Man, that was amazing! Totally worth coming out here for. Because you got to stuff your face, right? So what? You were all munching on snacks too! An extra-large steak bowl doesn't qualify as a snack. Did you have fun, Nanako-chan? Mm -hmm. I'm sleepy. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's about time for you to be home in bed. I'll take Nanako back. Make sure you guys don't stay out too late, huh? Bye-bye, Nanako-chan! Bye-bye. The fireworks were great, but I don't know, it just feels like summer's just about over. Why'd you have to bring that up? I'm all right with that. When I'm working, I have to wear fall clothes during the summer so I don't get a sense of the seasons changing. But this year, I went to the beach and saw some fireworks. I even got to wear a yukata out to the summer festival. The festival, huh? Well, thanks to a certain someone, I don't have anything but bitter memories of that. Really? That someone is you. Well, I had fun. Oh, yeah, you were good at that candy cutting. Wait, that's not what I meant. I was expecting something more... more bittersweet and stuff. Right? You take the long view too much when it comes to this stuff. Are you going to throw away the only summer you'll ever get as a second year just because it's a little less annoying? Hey, that's mean. You make it sound like we're annoying. Annoying? Am I really? Oh, sheesh. Yukiko's freakout switch just kicked in. It's your fault for being so insensitive, Yosuke! Huh, yeah. This kind of thing really doesn't come up with guys. <sighs> Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Like you're any different. Oh yeah, should we have asked that kid to come with us today? What kid are you talking about? Uh, well... Oh, him. Yeah, I guess so. When you think about it, we were working on the same case, in a way. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we might not ever see him again. I'd hate to leave it with him like that. I said some harsh things. You know, I remember him saying something that sounded pretty sad. Then again, I doubt he's the type who'd accept, even if we had invited him out to see the fireworks. I wonder if he's not here anymore. He seemed to be busy, so maybe he's already working on another case in some faraway town. Huh. Sorry, I didn't mean to be a downer. There's no point in wondering what might have been. He was a pretty good-looking guy, too. He might have been a roadblock in... Uh, other ways. Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Shut up! You don't have to say it twice! Oh, 
You finally came down. Um, I got a call from Dad. He said someone gave him a watermelon. It's too big for us to eat, so he said you should call your friends over. Do you think Teddy and your other friends can come? so you better not smack it open before we get there. Um, Dad got a watermelon from someone, so he said we should call everyone. Man, a watermelon. Because of all the stuff that's gone down this summer, I completely missed out. So, where is it? The fridge? Gee, Kanji, they invited us over. At least show some manners. We gotta smack it open first. Huh? Are we seriously gonna do that? We can't eat it if it gets all crushed. But, but doesn't it sound like fun? I want to do it too. I'll swing at it with everything I've got. The splattering fruit juice. Bursts of joy, one night of love. The bitter sweetness of those days is the essence of youth. That makes no sense at all. And dude, will you cut out those commercial lines of yours? That's the essence of youth. I'm home. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of shoes. How many people are here? Welcome home. <laughs> Let's split the watermelon open. Say what? Ah, well, you see... Come on, Nanako. Don't pout. Everyone came here to hang out, right? I'm really sorry. It never occurred to me you'd want to do that. Hey, Nanako-chan. Let's do it again sometime. Next time, we'll do it right at the beach. Seconded. Whoa, does that mean we get another chance to see you in bathing suits? Oh, but there probably aren't enough days left. We'll have to do it next year. Next year? Will you play with me next year too? Of course we will. You betcha. You betcha. Did you hear that, Nanako? Yep. Thank you. Thanks for everything today. It's been a while since I last saw Nanako in high spirits like that. <laughs> The case is finally solved. Now for all the... <laughs> ah, never mind. Save it for some other time. You know, you really made some great friends. Vacation's over already. Yo, guys. I got lost on my way here. The vacation was pretty long. Not that long. Sheesh. Good morning. Y you? You're that, uh, pint-sized detective. I beg your pardon? My name is Naoto. Please don't give people bizarre nicknames you make up on the spot. Um, you know this is a high school, right? My cooperation with the police has come to an end. However, 
There are aspects of the case with which I remain unconvinced. There are some family-related issues as well, so I've decided to stay here for the present. From today forth, I'll be a first year at your high school. And I felt that I should at least introduce myself to you all. I trust our relations will be cordial, senpai. Senpai? That detective boy's our underclassman? Man, school's as dull as ever. With the case closed, the days feel so empty all of a sudden. Come on, Yosuke. Everything went back to normal. It's a good thing. I didn't mean it that way. It's just... Hey, we're stopping by Juness later, right? Why don't we ask Naoto-kun to join us? Oh, I just thought, since he doesn't know anyone yet, he must feel lonely. Didn't he say he came here to help out with the murder case? With the case closed, he's just an ordinary guy now. And if you think about it, that makes him a transfer student, just like us. Hello, senpai. Maybe he transferred here out of plain stubbornness, because he doesn't seem like he's only in it for fun. All right, let's see if he wants to hang out with us. A celebrity coming to school is already a surprise, but a detective is even rarer. I'm a little curious to see what his family's like, too. There's that, and the fact that he's a detective at his age. Oh, speak of the devil. There's the little guy. You don't know the area yet, right? Come on, we'll show you around. There's probably tons of places to hang out that only we'd know about. That won't be necessary. I'm not interested in hanging out, and neither am I interested in you two. Huh? Hey, what did you say? What's with that attitude? We're just trying to be friendly. Jeez, way to make an impression. Yo, Naoto-kun. How's it going? Oh, um... Hey guys, sup? Uh, well, we'll be going now. So we meet again. May I help you? Hey, Naoto-kun! If you're not doing anything after school, wanna come with us? Come with... you mean me? Perhaps another time. I have some things to mull over. Things to mull over? I must go straight home today. I promised my grandpa so. Grandpa? Oh well. That's that then. Let's hang out some other time. Man, did you see Naoto's attitude? He sure blew his debut at school. Is he gonna be okay at Yasugami? He is different, but he has this mysterious air around him that draws your attention. 
Whoa, Yukiko, I never knew. You like younger guys? No, that's not what I meant. Hmm. Nato-kun said he has things to mull over, but he's got to be talking about the murder case. He's some ace detective, right? I bet he's not satisfied, even though the case is closed. That's true, but... Hmm. <laughs> this place isn't our special headquarters anymore. Uh, let's talk about something else. Isn't the class trip coming up soon? Um, where are we going? Tatsumi Port Island. I heard it's an artificial island that faces the ocean. It's a pretty big city. Huh? Port Island? I did tons of shoots there. It's just beyond the Moonlight Bridge, yeah? Should be lots of places to hang out there. Uh, actually, we may not have any time to goof off during this trip. I heard the school board is changing the trip schedule this year. The idea is we're going to visit a private school there, like to have local and urban students interact or something. It'll be all about studying and serious business. Ugh, yuck. Ugh, they're totally missing the point of a class trip. What kind of place is this private school? I heard it's really good. They have nice buildings and everything. But it's closed on the day we're going there, so they're going the extra mile to make this work. They want us to tour some factories on the second day, and then we're coming back on the third day. That's no different from a social studies field trip. Uh, I didn't want to know that. Can't expect much from a school-sponsored trip, I guess. Well, we'll be around, so if it starts to drag, we can ditch. I'll show you guys around. But we're in different years. Oh, didn't you know? The excursion will be like the campout. They're going to combine the first and second years. Since student enrollment is down and they're low on funds, they've cut the excursion back to once every two years. Well, at least we won't be bored with you around, senpai. Gosh, I'm trying to remember the last time I went to Port Island and I wasn't working. <laughs> this will be great! I wish I could be that positive about it. Doesn't this seem like a pain in the ass to anyone else? Some people were against the proposition, but it's been decided. Oh, and guess whose idea it was? King morons! It's just the kind of thing he'd come up with. No, King Moron! Why must you torture us from beyond the grave? No, King Moron! You don't even know who that is. Hey! Tell me more about this trip. Where is Port Island? What's there? Get back to work, will ya? Well, even though the class trip is coming up, it's still a ways away. What should I do until then? Well, it's not like we got much to do here in the first place. Man is just an animal trying to figure out how to kill time through his days. Huh. You made that sound like you were being philosophical, yet it made absolutely no sense. Sorry. <laughs> oh, welcome home, big bro.
back.
Yeah. Morning, senpai. Yo. So are you ready for the trip yet? This guy won't shut up about it. <laughs> Yosuke senpai hasn't even started packing. He's all like, was that tomorrow? What's up with that? You are way too excited about this. I mean, you're even worried about how many boxes of animal crackers to bring. We're only gonna be there for two nights, dude. Besides, I'm pretty sure they have convenience stores in Port Island. Are serious? I've never really left this place, so... Huh. I wonder if the murders here got as much play over there, too. 
Like that Mitsuo Kubo dude. They're still showing him on TV here. Every time I switch on the tube, the news is showing, like, what he wrote in his yearbook. <laughs> Pisses me off, man. The freaking media is slapping together anything they can find to make the dude look like a born criminal. People think they can say anything they want about a guy who's been branded a criminal. It's just not right. I mean, I still hate the guy's guts, but I don't know. After getting involved with all this, I started to realize how off-base most rumors are. It's so messed up. Well, I gotta admit, the news can be pretty out there. Hey, it's Naoto. Yo, how's it going? Good morning. Uh, oh, yeah. I I'm on duty today. <laughs> well, see you later. <sighs> He's the messed up one.
go. Welcome back! 